Hello, Namaste. This is Dr. Ravi Kiran Varigala. I'm an infectious disease specialist in Apollo Hospitals. So today we are going to discuss a few FAQs about HIV. So our first question is, what is HIV? So HIV is an infection which is caused by a virus uh, called HIV, which is human immunodeficiency virus. It's a particular type of virus which affects people of all ages and races and background. So the next question is, how do people get HIV? So you must have heard about HIV, how people get it. There are only a few ways that you can get it. The most common way that anybody gets HIV is through sexual transmission. Any type of sexual transmission, mainly it's anal, vaginal, oral, those type of sexual interactions, you can get HIV. The other ones would be through blood transfusion. It's actually pretty rare in this day and age because the blood is screened. So it's extremely rare. Only these we have seen maybe 10, 20 years ago. Not much in this day and age. The third way it would be through mother to child. So let's say a mother has HIV and she has not taken any medications. Then she can potentially pass this on to the baby during pregnancy or childbirth or even later on as she is feeding, breastfeeding the baby uh, through the breast milk, it can go to the baby. So what behaviors are most risky for somebody getting HIV? Um, so there are few behaviors which puts you at a higher risk of getting HIV. One is sexual transmission, especially if you're having any sexual in interactions, intercourse without any protection. So that puts you at a very, very high risk, especially with somebody who may have HIV. You know, some patients, uh, are higher risk of having HIV, like commercial sex workers or people who engage in this behavior quite often without getting any testing or any treatment done, they are much more likely to pass HIV. Are women more likely to get HIV? So not necessarily, it depends upon what type of risk behaviors that somebody is engaging in. Based on that, you may be more likely to get it. So not just based upon your um, gender, but it's more of a lifestyle thing. So a person who is engaging in a higher risk behavior with a man or woman can get HIV. What conditions are considered opportunistic or opportunistic infections? So some conditions uh, which are common for HIV patients, which we call as opportunistic, is something that comes because of the decreased immunity, which may not necessarily come for a normal healthy person. How can someone know they have HIV? Some of the ways a person can find out their HIV is maybe by their symptoms, by how they are feeling, but it's a very unreliable marker because I have said, you know, some of those symptoms may not even come until five or 10 years or even later. So that is not the best way of finding out. The best way of finding out is really to do a test, which is a blood test. Uh, there are some even finger stick tests or you can take some blood and do some testing. So very simple test. You, there are some tests which can even give you the results within 10 minutes. There are some confirmation tests also, uh, which take a little bit longer, maybe a few days uh, sometimes or just in a few hours, you can get the test results. How is an HIV test performed? So HIV test is a very simple test. It's a blood test. Uh, where they do a finger stick, take a small drop of blood, put it in a, what is called as a cart or a small disc. And with that blood, uh, it goes inside and it just puts a strip, like sometimes you do pregnancy test or sometimes for a COVID test, very simple things. And with that, it will tell you it is positive or negative. How is HIV or AIDS treated? So the treatment of HIV and AIDS uh, depends upon the condition where they are. In the past, it used to be thought that when the immunity goes down really low, that is when you start treatment. But now, with newer evidence, what we have and better medicines that we have, we want to start treating as soon as we find out some person has HIV. So let's say a person gets HIV diagnosed today. We do some blood test to know some baseline values. And based upon that, we will immediately start medications and medications are very simple and we have to start it right away. What is the difference between HIV and AIDS? So a lot of people confuse and think HIV and AIDS are the same thing. Actually, they are not. HIV is a virus. So you can get the virus, you may not get the virus. So just because you have the virus does not mean you have AIDS. AIDS actually is a clinical diagnosis where 
a person has the virus and they have certain other criteria they have to meet. Only then they are called as AIDS. So how can someone keep away from getting HIV? So one of the main ways truly is to prevent getting HIV is by sexual transmission, first way. So if somebody is sexually active, first of all, if you only have one partner or no partner, the risk is very, very low. But even if you have one partner and you don't know that partner very well and the other partner may be engaging in other high risk, then you're still at a risk. What is the outlook for someone, for somebody who has HIV or AIDS? So in the past, people used to think if you have HIV AIDS, then you're pretty much a dead person, that they were going to die right away. But that is no longer true. Actually, it's not been true for a long, long time. Should I get any vaccines if I have uh, HIV or AIDS? Yes, definitely. You should get vaccines. Uh, you don't have a vaccine for HIV, but you can get many other vaccines. So do only gay or homosexual people get HIV? Well, that's not true. That used to be thought initially 30, 40 years ago when HIV first came out. But actually, majority of the people all around the world who get HIV are heterosexual. They are not homosexual. Can somebody get HIV through oral sex? Well, that's a good question. Not really. Uh, extremely, extremely rare to get it, but that is not the way that you should be able to get it. The only way that should happen is if somebody has oral bleeding. The pers Both of the person should have it, not just one person. Can latex condoms prevent HIV? Uh, yes, they can prevent uh, HIV. Um, any type of condoms can prevent HIV. Why should all pregnant women get tested for HIV? Pregnant women are likely to transmit an infection to their baby. And as we know, this is a lifelong illness. There is no cure for HIV at this point. So the best that we can do is to prevent transmission of the infection from mother to child. How long does it take for HIV to cause AIDS? So HIV can turn into AIDS over a period of time. It depends on many factors, your nutrition, your exercise, your work, your social standing sometimes. Uh, all of those influence how fast you'll get it. But generally, as your CD4 keeps going down every single year, over time, you will get it. So what time is it? Maybe something around five to 10 years. It sometimes is even longer, but generally that is the time frame. So today we learned about HIV. What are some of the signs and symptoms of HIV? How do you test for HIV? What is the treatments available for HIV? How do you transmit HIV, how do you even prevent transmission of HIV, and uh, um, are there any vaccines we talked about, or what are other protective measures we talked about for HIV. And if you or anybody else that you know has HIV and you need help, please contact us. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay informed.